president. You said f Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she got cancer. My eyes are up here. My fallopian tubes uh, right here. You caused all of this. You're literally being Joe Biden of the podcast. I'm not being Joe Biden. Wallahi. Wallahi. Welcome in, babies. To another episode of the A-Rabs Podcast. Woo. We are coming to you live from North Korea. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> Anyone? My instinct is to start singing in Korean, and I'm like, ah, it's probably not do a it. good move. Do, yeah. No, because I don't know how to speak Korean. But you know... What do you, how do you know Korean at all? I don't. Okay. Yeah, that's not a good move. Yeah, not a good move. All right. What are we talking about this week? So today we have the debates. We have Andrew Schultz. We have spicy stuff. We have uh, VidCon. We have, you guys met a celebrity, which I still did not hear about at all. Mm -hmm. uh, and we have, you know, System of a Down. And, uh, but no, the number one thing we're going to start off with the debates, which were, uh, frankly, a, oh, and SCOTUS. The two rulings that came out this week. Yeah. And Ethan Klein admitting he's a Zionist. There we go. Yeah. There, there we go. Oh, he put it in quotes. He put it in quotes. So anyways, uh, I didn't know we were going to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, you, just, we are. you just said you wanted to talk about it. I'm, yeah, maybe. All right, let's go. <laughs> we're rolling. We're I'm rolling. Scared, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't want the hate. I'm scared. Why is it Why is it always going to be hate? It's got to be love. I want my security back. Yeah, the rap's just going to do it all by himself here. Just yeah, like, just what, give it to me. What do you think about Ethan Klein saying he's a Zionist? I think he's anti-Semitic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, so anyways, so uh, let's talk about these fucking debates, dude. Uh, we did the debates. Uh, I watched it. It was it was uh, very much the saddest thing I've ever seen from from Biden. It yeah, was, it was really bad, dude. It was like a robot shutting down. It was not good. The way I think of Joe Biden, it's like somebody took his brain out of his skull, blended it up and poured like the brain residue back in. And that's his functional system of his body. <laughs> <laughs> like He has no He's coherent basically a thought. juice box. dude. Exactly. <laughs> He, there are clips like where he's just like, and then, uh, and then, and then, and then he just like, okay, I'll just yield the time. Yeah. And I'm like, what is this? Like he lost on so many major issues. He lost to Trump on the issue of abortion. Yeah. He started bringing up like immigrants stabbing people or something during the abortion. Yeah, yeah, it, was, it was wild. <laughs> I, I did see that part. He it, didn't have his adrenochrome. Dude. He needed the adrenochrome. <laughs> he looked like the dude he from- He needed the adrenochrome. <laughs> He looked like the dude from Men in Black from the original that someone's like walking around with a dead body. And oh, yeah, controlling. the guy with the cockroach, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah. cockroach. Dude, after the debate, that guy. He, he tweeted some dumb shit, uh, Biden. He was like, if I'm president, I'm going to reinstate Roe v. Wade. It's like, you dumb motherfucker. You could do it right now yeah, if you, you wanted can do it right to. Now, you dumbass. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a misnomer, though. They did try to run a vote and they did, it did not pass. Because. Is, However, is it the Supreme Court that's fucking it because he didn't appoint anybody for Supreme Court yeah, but he that is progressive? He cannot appoint anyone unless someone steps down. It's a lifetime yeah. thing. But you know what he can do is pack the fucking courts. And that's something that pisses me off about Biden is that Biden won't or like, you know, the leftists won't pack the courts. We've we've threatened to do that back in the day is that when they start making the rulings as bad as they have, which this week we could talk about, um, uh, talk about the Supreme Court, like basically just said that's the president of the United States, Trump, uh, is immune from doing whatever as long as it's uh, during the official duties of the president. He's immune. You cannot get him in trouble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So unless it's unofficial duties, which how are you going to do that? The president is now immune from from, from any, the law, essentially. From the law. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. Which is just a wonderful. That's such great Did news. Did you not hear about this? No. It's yeah, literally it just, just came happened. down like today. Everyone yeah. keeps tweeting Happy about 4th it. Happy 4th of July. <laughs> it's the fourth of july dude i love america man dude i hate america i love america we're so wishy-washy we're Wait, so silly let's bad. get into uh the debate L let's talk about the debate and then i'll get into this what scotus just ruled but basically so basically trump won the debate because biden was just such a such a fucking uh, i don't even know what to say a meat puppet at that point dude, they're still trying to run him now people are fighting about it they're like run him what 
Like the Democrats are talking about pushing the convention. Like, you know, uh, so the way that you elect someone is you do it at a convention just for the viewers, not for you guys. You probably know. Yeah. But you do a, a Democratic convention, you all vote, and then you pick someone that day. Right. They're trying to push it up so they can do it now so he can't get kicked out. You mean like what? Kicked out what? Like, like of the part that, that, no, no, no. I, the, so, they, so they don't try to push. So like people in the Democratic Party don't try to push him out to get someone young. So I've been seeing, and this is not, I don't think this is true, but I have been seeing like people speculating and ru do, doing like rumor mill shit, like on like uh, Twitter and stuff like that, saying that he uh, rescinded his campaign and dropped out. But I saw, no, I was looking no, for no, articles no, no, for that. No, I was like, no, that's no, not no, true. I so fucking So don't wish. believe that shit. If you see it on Twitter, stop <laughs> fucking. You just made the information up. You're like, hey man, I, can I see didn't. This. Hey, it's not real. I didn't. I'm okay. telling everybody, don't pay attention to that shit because it got me for a second. I was talking. I was like, what? <laughs> Why? It's too late, dude. What are you going to do? Stay. I was talking to Austin Ox the other day about like, Biden dropping out. I was like, who the fuck even would be like Newsom. in line? It, yeah, Newsom. <laughs> um, we Let's bring Vivek back, dude. <laughs> dude, Newsom, I know we're not supposed to make fun of people's looks or whatever, but he looks so LA. He does. He, does. he has a lot of Botox. You know what he looks, looks like? like? He looks like what Gavin Newsom looks like is he looks like he got casted to play a governor in a movie. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? 100%, dude. Like, he just looks like, like, oh, yeah, you need a governor. I'm the guy. He looks like yeah. Homelander, but in real life. Yeah, bring back <laughs> Arnold, dude. <laughs> yeah. Arnold should have not never left office. They should have never got him out of there. So I don't, He should have just been Arnold the entire time. <laughs> We that could have been great. We could have had the fucking Terminator dude, as our dude. We could have terminated our... Russia, dude. It would have been Stop. crazy. <laughs> dude, we could have been terminating shit. Oh. But yeah, it was like Newsom, uh, John F. Kennedy's Robert Kennedy. Yeah, RFK. RFK. He sounds like this because he has a worm. Can't in his do throat. that. He sounds like that though. Can't do that. Wait, That's yeah. what he sounds what like. Literally, he has a worm in his throat, doesn't he? Or he has like a had something like go on with his throat. <laughs> he sounds like this. You can't do the voice. <laughs> But this, is how, <laughs> this, is how, this is how JFK sounded. Uh, cut, uh, no. uh, ask cut not it. what? Cut it. Cut it. Don't no, cut it. That's what, it. He, that's what no, he sounded no. like. You can't. You sound like this. People are getting mad canceled. People are getting though. mad canceled. Okay. And then okay. Gretchen Whitmer. Gretchen Whitmer. I put, it, See, this is how people sound. It's okay to say. <laughs> I don't sound like that. There you go. You can't do everyone's voice you when it's You can't do everyone's it. voice. See, it's what I'm saying, dude. Wait, did he have cancer or something? No, I don't think it was cancer. I think he just had like some 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 issue with his nodes. I don't know. You're looking it up. Thank you for looking it up, Jeremy. Put, can you pull that Neurological up? Neurological condition. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine, dude. It's over. He <laughs> still has a weird voice. I can make fun of the voice. No, he. <laughs> Listen, whenever you see the smoking commercial about throat cancer, do you laugh at the robot voice? No. Yes, yes you do. I don't He's literally laugh. smiling dude, you're right now. you giggling right now. Dude, <laughs> slow zoom in on Capri giggling right now. I'm not giggling. You guys are like making keep slow zooming on Do him. the robot voice. Don't do it. Don't do it. I'm doing I ain't want to go. Take me away. <laughs> if you smoke, it's bad. Take me to the island. <laughs> Oh my god! Okay, Capri's such a party pooper, dude. I'm not a party pooper. Dude, I'm doing impressions. Be be stoked that I'm doing are impressions we, right are now. Are we Schultz? <laughs> We're Schultzing him right now. Yeah, you are. <laughs> We're Schultzing him right now. You are, dog. We've adapted into this. No, I so, mean like, I mean like, it, it's just, it's. The, I don't know, dude. He's also a fucking COVID denier. He's an anti vaxxer Who? R RFK. <laughs> is he based otherwise or no? No. I have a feeling people would just like who have money are just anti vaxxers. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I don't want that shit in my system. Yeah. I just get a, I'll just make my house out they'll of plastic. Inject me with a hundred dollars. That's better. Yeah, that's what they say. Dude, all you need to do is put shungate around your house, you'll be fucking fine. I'm sorry, what the fuck did you say? All you have to do is put shungate around your house and it'll be fucking Shunga? fine. Shunga? Shungite. Where do you get shunga from? Shungite. Shunga these nuts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'll dab it up for See, that. See, I told you it's so far away. What is happening? The ableist stuff. No, but that's that. Okay. So, anyways, the deal is the deal. Yeah, let me hear it. Don't don't both look at me like you're mad. When, I'm not mad. I'm I, ready when to this hear gets it. clipped and it goes on the fucking internet and they go, Frogan, they're not gonna say anything about Rob. They don't know who the fuck he is. Yeah, they don't Googled, even know me. We Googled Frogan, it's all bad shit. It's like Frogan did 9-11 question mark? <laughs> <laughs> Frogan racist question mark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she definitely did 9-11. Yeah, Frogan was telling me, she's like, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a, where are you going? He's like, up to New York. 
I was four years old. I was in kindergarten when that shit happened. <laughs> when her uncle was sent off to war. <laughs> Dude, my family member fucking died and you think it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> A, a, a distant cousin. I thought about it. I know you had family that died in the Holocaust, but this this one I didn't know. Every major tragedy that's happened. Yeah, in the world, Rogan has Rogan family, has family member Holocaust, nine eleven, uh, Chernobyl, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, just the Holocaust. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on. Um, so tell me more about the debate because that's what we're talking about. Okay, right so now. the debate, uh, the debate ends up like Biden comes out and you Trump know, brought some heat, dude. To be to to be quite frank, yeah. he did not bring heat. No, he brought some heat. Do you see that? Did you be... watch that? You, you watched it. You saw that one clip. Pull it up. Where Biden it is squirt. just like kind of rambling off, and then they go to Trump to get his opinion, and Trump's like, "I don't know what he. I don't even know what he said. I don't even think he knows what he said." Your Trump impression's way too good. I idolize the man. You're wrong. I'm just kidding. You're wrong. I am not a Trump supporter. Did you see this video between Biden in 2019? Yeah, debate? I did actually. I wanted to talk about that. This is crazy. Uh, let me show because this. Because look how much he's deteriorated. Yeah, because he's been president, dude. Presidents, like, it kills you. Look Yo, at his, Obama. Look at his Obama? hairline. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, dude, Obama got I continue fucked. to think we have look. to make fundamental changes in civil rights. And those civil rights, by the way, include not just only African Americans, but the LGBT. Would you have fucked 2019? Yeah. yeah. I would have fucked 2019 Biden. Like a 2024 I would have played with his long leg hairs wants or whatever. To get, away with, get rid of the ability of Medicare to uh, the, for the ability. Dude, he to literally free. short circuited. I did not oppose busing in America. What I opposed did not is oppose busing ordered by the busing in America. That's yeah, what, what did he say? Making sure. Bro, that's still racist, by the way. The, the, oh, I, I, I didn't oppose busing for black people. I opposed busing for black people through education, you know, like. That we're able to make every single solitary but even eligible for what I've been able to do. Do you think Hunter Biden has yeah. been feeding him a little bit of that, like, yay, yay, dude? No, dude, he needs to. He needs the yay, yay. But even in 2019, he still had his moments of, like, delirium. Yeah, but this is, like, but really this is like Great band name. so much Great worse. band name. No, dude, it's really bad. Delirium? We should start a band. Yeah, start a band. I DM'd you the video that he's talking about on Discord. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, he'll pull it up. But I anyway, want, dude, but, uh, it was just like hit after fight hit. Golf. The fight about golf is pretty funny, too. You typed in <laughs> fight and just a like, child was. <laughs> this, dude. Yeah, this let's is, see it. Pull it up. This is the most insane clip from the presidential Oh, uh, Jeremy, debate. can you pull that up for me? Where's Jeremy? You're Jeremy. Yeah, when he was White House doctor. And then I took another one. White House doctor. And both... One of them said they'd never seen anybody ace him. Thank you. President Biden. You can see he is six foot five and only 220 pounds. <laughs> dude, why is he getting ready? Why is he getting ready to announce a fight, dude? Six foot five, 230 pounds. I think he's trying to call him fat. Dude. No, she's because he uh, Trump was like, I'm only 223 pounds. Six two. There's no way he's 223 pounds. Yeah, and everyone clowned him because like, obviously he's probably like 300 pounds. Yeah, yeah, there's no way. There's no way. Um, so he's clowning on him. Look at that chin. Well, you said 6'4", 200. Well, anyway, that's it. You're, anyway, just take a look at what he says he is and take a look at what he is. Look, I mean, Dude, like, I hate him fat. this ASMR you, bullshit. He did the entire debate. Why did he make me screw my camera? Uh, yeah. No, it was insane. He's just like, take a look at three, four, four, five pounds, five, 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 five pounds. Well, any, anyways. Welcome, yeah. welcome to ASMR segment. Now, what is anyway? We're going to talk about how I. President. Can you not do that? It's weirding me the fuck out, dude. I don't want to do this. Guys. Yeah, I don't want to do this bit. Okay, there's people at home right now, and you're really fucking. But I'm down out. for Frogan to continue the bit. Oh, what about me? No. Raph, can I do the bit too? No. I want to. Your whispers are very aggressive. No, but my your whispers oh. sound. Whoa. Your whispers sound racist. It's like giving me whiplash, dude. It goes okay. from like nice and sweet to fucking. Fuck you, bitch. Disrespectful. <laughs> hey! Okay, we're gonna get this. Whoever was just listening to ASMR, I'm so sorry. I just blew out your eardrums. Don't fucking ever enjoy that again, you stupid fuck. Don't ever trust us. Okay, he's here wearing we go. Dorito socks because his feet smell like Doritos. That is such a wild thing to just out of nowhere. Just that say. is insane. Don't ever just, 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 just I, let your I fucking just, thought win there, <laughs> dude. We're having a very a, a poignant discussion about the debate. About the debate, you're literally just threw shit. Yeah, I, just, I, just, like look, I just looked down and I saw the Doritos on his That's feet. That's insane. I literally just go. Out of nowhere, what, what's the shade? I just looked down and saw your socks for the first time. What today. the fuck? Well, okay, what you am I thought about smelling your feet and how they smell like corn chips? I'm gonna like be a like, oh, foot. 
What the fuck? You're wearing the Lakers colors because you sound like you smell like the whole fucking team. I don't know what the fuck you want me to say. Like I don't. I didn't. That's that was rude. A, that was <laughs> no. You did it to me. And they all smell like drug car noir. That team. <laughs> after I after, smell. Sorry, I smell rich. <laughs> <laughs> Broken with the zinger, dude. I don't know, dude. Six foot five, 100 pounds, dude. Yeah. Ready to come out fighting, dude. Okay, you can see that my bonus. Is really <laughs> you can definitely see All right. <laughs> This is the golf. They're arguing about golf. You're about to argue, yeah. Down to a six. Do you see Trump's face? That was the most cringe thing where he's like, <laughs> like, He's like, oh my god, his handicap's not that good. I'm like, bro, this is a fucking presidential debate. What is going on, dude? What is going on? Trump is so cute. Look at that motherfucker. He's not cute. Look, he's, look at that motherfucker. He looks no. He looks like he a, looks like a frog. Yeah, he does. He looks like he is a peepo. Golf, you can carry your own bag. Think you, can <laughs> think you can carry your own bag. It was a six handicap of all. I was an eight handicap. Yeah. Eight. This is insane. This is insane. Here's the thing. Everything. What was the fucking question? Do we know? Remember? They, they both did this. The Trump people are so incessant and insane. They, they're they like, no, he was perfect. I'm like, homie, they both did it. They would ask Trump a question and then they would be like, he would just be talk about Mexicans the entire time. He's like, the Mexicans coming over the wall. They're like, we're talking about health care. He's like, it's about them. They'd be like, oh, what about inflation? Mexican people. What about this? He's like, I don't understand, but somehow Mexican people are involved. They're building, <laughs> they're, they're 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 in the they're in the money system. That's it was the just, rise of Mexican joke. And then dude. at one point, he just hit us with the Palestinian. That was the most insane thing to me. I don't think they answered one question the entire debate. No, they're both literally senile. Why the fuck are like our presidential candidates all about to die? Like, if you're greater than the average life expectancy and age, you should not be fucking running for president, dude. I've always said, if you can't drive a car, you can't run for president. Yep. You know what? Fuck. Call me ageist. Ageist. There should be a cap. There needs to be a cap. There needs to be a cap. Like 60. Nah, that's too young. That's too young. 65, you retire. 67. Sure. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Yeah, cool. There we go. Yeah. Cool. 67 is a new age. Even though I think the average life expectancy in America is like 78 now. Yeah, but you should be chilling. Imagine that, dude. Biden, where are your kids? I mean, they were like, hey, I want to hang out with Grandpapa. I want to hang out with Grandpapa. He's like, no, he's go over there. He's doing Russia wars. Yeah, dude, by the time this motherfucker's done, if he wins again, he's going to be 86 years old. Yeah, what's he going to do with He's going to be like, oh, finally, I can retire. <laughs> I got 24 hours left. You guys think we're going to get Trump again? Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's right, yeah. Because uh, I saw, I looked at the polls yesterday, and it said that Trump was just losing by 1%. No, no, he's absolutely obliterating him right now. After this debate, it's over. So it's so like it, pretty much the whole debate was just them talking about nothing, dude. I Trump looks so good and young because he has that all that colloidal silver, dude. What's the colloidal silver? You know, to prevent COVID. You Remember injecting bleach you into your veins or whatever. You didn't send it to me, bro. I did on Discord. No, two days ago. Two oh, days ago, dude. Here. Wow, fake, fake friend. This is Twitter. Wait, wait, what's this? I sent it to you on Discord, bro. Oh, yeah, Capri sundowning right now. Am I sundown? You're literally being Joe Biden of the podcast. I'm not being Joe Biden. I'm not being Joe. What was the other clip that you wanted to talk about? I didn't about? understand what he said. I don't J even know what he said. I'm not Joe Biden. I said to her editing a DM. Can you on Discord. Okay. Bro. No, it's right there. It's, right, it's on Discord. Just give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sundowning you. You grabbed me. your phone. Why'd you grab your phone? DMs. I'm not sundowning. You're sundowning. I'm dude. not sundowning. Stop okay, click your things. DMs. Okay. Podcast editing. I got it. Podcast editing. Scroll up. I got it. I mean, scroll down. Okay. It's not. Scroll down. Okay. Right there. There you go, brother. And I'm going to continue to move until we get the total ban on the, 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 the total initiative relative to what we're going to do with more Border Patrol and more uh, asylum officers. President Trump. <laughs> I really don't know what he said at the end of this. I, was, I don't think he knows what he said either. Roasted, dude. <laughs> fucking, he brought the heat, dude. You can't. Dude, I don't understand what he said, dude. Honestly, and I don't even think he knows what he fucking said. Dude, you can't recover from that. That's really bad, dude. And look at his face. Look at look at Biden's face. He's, the set. The, the second camera he looks really so fucking. Yeah, he looks hurt. Like, 
That's what Hassan was saying. He was like, I don't think Biden was aware that he had a camera on him the entire time. Yeah. So he kept making weird faces. So he was literally just like. In shock. Uh, yeah, I didn't even know, I didn't even know what the do fuck to Do a Biden describing. face, Frogan. Well, that was good. That was pretty good. I didn't do it yet. That I was trying to think. Sick, dude. <laughs> no, I can't do it. He he he, he like stares good. at his face. Like, he basically looks like me when I'm like. Do do it do a, do a side by side camera while Frogan talks with me and Raf doing Biden faces. Oh, a hundred percent. Like you probably could get that naturally, candid. Candid. Right, I'm done. That was a great. That was a great. Bit. You can get that shit that candid. One. So so essentially, the the issue now is that they need to pick someone else. They're not going to because they're afraid that they're going to lose. He's old enough to run for president. I should Dude. be presidency. Dude, Everybody, that would be the worst decision. No, it ever. wouldn't. Ooh, right, Capri, some poppy on your ballot. Do not do that. Do not do that. Do that. Do not do that. Do that. Write whatever the the. Can I be honest? I'm not voting. Why are you not voting? Because I don't give a fuck. Okay, but are you not going to vote for what? Everything. For what reason? Because I don't care anymore. Okay. Here's the deal. Oh, here it comes this is the, this is that 36 year old I'm anger. Never gonna get lectured. Yeah, he's going to lecture you right now. This is what happens when you turn 30, 36. You go, it's your right to vote. Nobody, not everybody in the world has a right to vote. It is your duty as an American to I'm vote. I'm really glad that you agree Hold on, with Before you yell at me. God damn it. We have now assholes on my screen. Before you yell, <laughs> before you yell at me. James Charles needs to stop showing his butt. I will say that I used to do so many get out to vote initiatives. I organized one for AOC. I know, I know I've you organized agree with me. some for I know you agree with other me. organizations. Um, but I'm at a point where I'm like, why am I going to advocate for people to vote when all these politicians are self-serving and they haven't really done anything to benefit people or they've never acted on their campaign promises? Why am I going to tell people to vote for the lesser of two evils when they're all the fucking same? Fight back. Tell her. Uh, I don't want to vote for Joe Biden because of the genocide personally. I wasn't going to vote for Joe Biden. The Who are you going to vote for? The issue is... Well, actually, don't t don't say it. It doesn't matter. No, I was just not going to vote. I was going to say nothing. I was going to vote down the ballot blue, and then I was just not going to vote. And the deal is, uh, I think that uh, it sucks because I'm trying to pick... Can I, can I show you this video? I want to show you guys this video because it has to do with the voting system. Sure. It's James Charles. You love James Charles. It's one of your favorite creators. I love James Charles. What about you? Oh, you don't like sisters? Well, he he dropped a video about Biden, and he is yelling. Is it about a diss Biden. track? What does it have to do with voting? You'll see right now. You'll see because someone responds to him. He basically does this. It, it has to do with what you're saying. It has exactly to do with what you're saying. Nobody should be thinking here that Joe Biden is the right person to be president. Literally during that debate, somebody from his fucking team tweeted out saying, "If I get reelected, I will reinstate Roe versus Wade." News flash, Grandpa. You're the fucking president now. Hey, it's literally what and you it, said. It's gone. <laughs> You and James Charles are great. Hey, you Wait. and James Charles are synced. Did you play as Frogan stream or a different video? <laughs> no, we, no, that wasn't James Charles. Sounded, that sounded, it sounds like Frogan, little, right? The yeah. difference between James Charles and I is he has a BBL and I don't. So oh, he also is a fucking creep. He's also. <laughs> No, no, no. It's just a BBL. It's just a BBL. Nothing else. What the There's fuck? <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> There's nothing else. It's a BBL and that's it. I forgot he's a Oh, yeah. He <laughs> does. <laughs> yeah. Hey, get on the fucking ground. <laughs> now you are on someone's like Mount Rushmore. Dr. Disrespect, James Charles, Frogan. I'm not a I don't like little kids. I like men between the ages of 27 to 37. 10 years. Okay. <laughs> I don't like younger men. Sorry. Cougar. But reverse cougar. Yeah. And What's a reverse cougar? Trap Grave robber. Huh? Grave, Grave robber. robber. Sugar baby. If, if we have cougars, why don't we have poachers? Poachers should be what... Young people who look for older people. What, about what do you mean older people? I, I don't think. I think it's a normal age range. Aren't Sh you like sugar, sugar aren't baby? You like sixteen? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyways, play the video, please. So he he says this, and then someone attacks him and says, "This is the video in response." Everyone's dunking on James Charles. 
Let me tell you something. You botch body, BBL having ass bitch. Joe Biden is not oh, the reason shit. why we lost Roe v. Wade. It was that orange Oompa Loompa bitch that was sitting on that debate stage. And why do you have all this smoke for Joe, but no smoke for the one person who appointed three Supreme Court justices that rolled back Roe v. Wade? Why do you have so much smoke for damn Democrats who actually tried to codify women's reproductive rights before the Supreme Court just did it? Pause it. Trying to pass the Women's Health Care Protection Act. Pause it. Yeah. So this went in, the Women's Health Protection Act went into Congress September of 2022, I want to say. Okay. So yeah, basically, well, it passed the House in 21. That's what his his thing are saying. Uh, in September of 2021, I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it passed Congress. Basically, the whole bill was uh, Roe v. Wade instilled uh, access to health care, uh, trans health care as well. Domestic. It was basically the whole protection for women's. Uh, and then it got voted on by the Senate in 2022, 2022 February, denied across the board. And Joe it, Manchin was the reason why it got denied. Yeah. that the, Yeah. And then when it got denied in February, in June of 2022, I want to say, mm -hmm. that's when Roe v. Wade got overturned. Right? I don't know what, I don't know the timeline of that, but I think that that may be true. I think that. Oh yeah, nine twenty four, twenty twenty one. I'm so, I'm so. That was what? good. That was good. I so, bleep Raffy! it. Bleep it. Yeah, you should bleep it. Uh, anyways, so the deal is, the question that I have for you is that is that Joe Biden's fault or is that Congress's fault because there was too many? It was a Republican majority. I think Senate fault. The Senate's fault. Sorry, that's what I meant. Congress is general. Senate, but was it Senate blue at the time? No, it was even. Senate so was half and so, half. So you. It, he, oh, it was half and half, but then you have the stupid, dumb bitches like that fucking. Joe Manchin. No, not Joe Manchin. Who's that dumb. The, the way I would have worded this is really bad. That bisexual bitch that everyone loved. Who? Nancy Pelosi? No, no, no. <laughs> uh, cinema. Okay. Kristen Cinema. Yeah. Kristen Cinema. Kristen Cinema. That dumb bitch. What's the name of a movie? She voted theater? against it? I think so. It was Joe She's... Manchin. I looked it up. Fuck these people. Joe Manchin is basically a, con a conservative that's on the, the Democrat side. And here's the thing. It's just like, and that's, that's, this supports my point as well about why I don't give a fuck about voting. I know it's important to vote local, whatever. But it's like you have these Democrats that are running. They they might as well be fucking Republicans. Yeah. there's nope. There are really no progressive candidates. Mm -mm. And when there are progressive candidates, there's APAC, which will spend literally millions and millions of dollars to kick the progressive candidates out, which they just did in New York. They paid fourteen million dollars to um, campaign for some weird fucking old ass man. To get rid of uh, Jamal. Jamal. Uh, fourteen million dollars <clears throat> just for a local election. That's crazy. It's crazy. Can I can I play the rest of this video because I yes. want I want to bring something up with the, what you're saying about APAC and stuff. I actually want to. It it relates to the video. Back in twenty twenty two. As you can see in this photo, Vice President Kamala Harris residing over the Senate trying to get it passed, but we lack the motherfucking votes. If Joe is reelected, he does have the ability to bring it back if, if we take back the House and if we get more votes in the Senate in order to pass it. That's what Joe's promise is. I don't understand why you guys don't understand it. Maybe if you paid more time in civics paying attention rather than beating your face and potentially beating your beat while also sending explicit photos to minors, maybe you would know that. Hey, minor. Okay, keep going. Maybe, just maybe, if you spend less time trying to capitalize off of black suffrage and post-slavery trying to capitalize off of a song called Bring Me Water, Sylvie, by a black man by the name of Lead Belly who was stringing a song based off of his uncle who was plowing a fucking field post-slavery, maybe you would know what Joe Biden has done. Y'all, this color gaze, get on my motherfucking nerves because you have the motherfucking nerve to get on a goddamn platform without knowing what the fuck you're talking about. The I feel like he's yelling at me. For somebody, a part of the LGBT community, my community, to come at Joe sideways as much as he's done for our fucking community when it comes to trans affirmative care, when it comes to trying to end conversion therapy, when it comes to marriage equality. How fucking Didn't he just... You? Didn't he just re didn't he just go against his trans affirmative care or I don't know do something against the the Can I be uh, honest? Oh the the 
Oh, fuck, dude. I, yeah, I don't know the word. Can I be honest? For it, but... Going that hard for Joe Biden is fucking insane considering yeah, he's doing a genocide. I was thinking, I was like, not like, even not disregarding even the that. genocide at this point, but no, like, he really hasn't done anything for America. His no, presidency was pathetic. He's, he's Democrats done... gargling his balls this hard is insane to me. The thing is, you, you can't, you cannot vote for Republicans or you just can't. You just can't. Like, they're not going to do anything. That's why I'm not voting for anybody. What has he done? Okay. However, there there are a lot of acts that have been passed that have supported. Like, he, he got a lot of things passed, but the issue is that the Supreme Court is the most important thing that has happened. And recently, with the justices essentially getting fucking just bodied, you know, like, it is now an oligarchy, and we are living... With the Supreme Court just being able to do whatever the fuck they want. They're literally just destroying. They just, they got rid of, I don't know if you know what Chevron is. It's a major case. It basically says that the federal, um, essentially if there's like an ambiguity in the law, you kind of, you have to like side with the agency that like, that works in that area, like the EPA. They basically just absolutely bodied the EPA. They gutted the EPA. They gutted Roe v. Wade. So if you're voting for Joe Biden for just that, that's what you're, that's, that's a great argument. Right? Not really. Why? How? When are we going to get another spot in the Supreme Court? Uh, we do have spots coming up. We do have spots coming Our up. Our motherfucker's going to die? Yes. I think Thomas and Sotomayor are next up to go. Dude, fuck that dumb... <laughs> what? <laughs> no, you know, you know who, what? You, you know who we should get... What was funny about that? People, like, yeah, it's just funny to hear like... Well, Thomas is 76, dude. It, it, oh, like they're going to die? Yeah, yeah. Like that's, yeah, that's pretty funny. That's fucking... Hilarious. You know, yeah, you know who should, you know who literally deserves a burn in hell for eternity? Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Fuck that bitch. Why? Well, that is a weird that take. Is, that's a that's why a weird that, take. Why, why do you have that? Take? Why do you have that take? She knew she had cancer, terminal cancer, and could have retired from the Supreme Court in a blue time with Obama when he could have appointed somebody because she waited out to fucking die. That's and then somebody got appointed during Trump. Okay. That's okay. incorrect because they already tried to appoint someone, Garland, during Obama, and they blocked him illegally. So the issue is that even if she would have retired, they would have fucking blocked because they were blocking Obama from allowing Garland to be affirmed. So the fact is, do you remember Garland? Do you remember he was supposed to fill the spot? I know you don't because you said that shit, and that shit's wild. That was a wild thing. That to was say. a wild thing. So take. fuck that bitch. Why? <laughs> Ruth has done so much for America and for the education of people as well. Anyways. Wait, no, hold on a second. Why are you rolling your eyes? You said fuck Ruth Bader Ginsburg because she got cancer. <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? That's a wild thing to say, right? I get, I get your perspective. But she could have retired. She could have had that open spot in the Supreme Court. Right, but she but couldn't she was have, selfish. But she couldn't because they kept blocking. They kept blocking Obama, especially the, the towards the end. They blocked of, them towards the end. They said it was an election year. We don't confirm so we'll be yeah. in, in the election year. Remember that with Garland? Garland was supposed to be on the Supreme Court. He's not. He's fucking working for Obama. The, the, oh, the last for, two years of Obama's uh, reign as president, they were doing everything in their power, like even pulling out all the dude, stops they were to stop him. Everything. To do for doing anything, I think America got hella racist under Obama. It literally got like the most racist I've ever seen. America was under Obama. When that's when people the came loud out kind the of racist, like really, people came out the woodwork. They're like, "Hey, man, we're not gonna let these people be president, right?" Like that's like I had people in my neighborhood say that shit. I had a family member. He's dead now. Be like, like dead ass. Look, was at, he part of the Supreme Court? No, it's like a distant relative. But he dead ass looked at my brother. He's like, "Can't wait to get that N word out of the office." Am I right? <laughs> You know, every you guys are shaking your head, but you know, you know, some distant relative who's that racist. I know, dude. Everyone does. My white family. Yeah, they're what racist. What do you think she had to deal with during the election? Yeah, hundred percent. Dude, my family was fucking clapping. They're like, Let's dude, they go. targeted my ass too. I literally got into so many fights on like at Easter and Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I was the only person in that fucking house to get Who banned. Hated Ruth Bader Ginsburg. No, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I was the only person to get banned from talking about politics in the house during the holidays while every dumb other motherfucker in my family got to talk about it. But guess what? Talked about it anyways and I got silenced and I got kicked out. This is actually, this is a lot. I know. This explains a lot. 
What? This explains just explains a, a very particular quirk about you that we'll save for for the Patreon episode. Yeah. No, because I'm not going to forget. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. Are you going to set a fucking alert? Hey a Siri. Reminder to ask me what so that we have means. a producer sitting right there. Set a timer for <laughs> thirty five minutes. Hey Scooty. Hey Scooty. Hey Scooty. Hey Scooty. Can you set a timer for forty five minutes to remind Frogan to tell us about her racist upbringing? Yeah, I'll, I'll go. I'll go more into it. Um, on the Patreon. Okay. About what happened. We'll do it on the Patreon. So basically what, what's happening right now is America is uh, is stupid. Okay. The president can do whatever they want now legally. But, but, but can, can, I, can, I, can I also bitch about that dude's TikTok? Okay. Uh, yeah. To be like, oh, I, okay. He, what really pisses me off the most is like for someone to be like, oh my God, shut the fuck up. You know, you can't be upset with Biden. It's like, I'm sorry, but then you're... All minorities need to be protected equally. I'm sorry. So when you have someone doing a fucking genocide and then you're like, shut the fuck up. You have to vote for Biden, blah, blah. You're, you're, you, so wh what does that say about Arabs? Does that say shut the fuck up, vote for Biden because, because other minority groups will get a benefit and we get fucking cucked? That's what people want. That's what's yeah, insane dude, It has to nothing me. to do. Well, if you're going to come that hard. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> bitching. Go go ahead, go ahead. I'm not gonna come that hard. I promise. It'll be soft and gentle. I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ride by and be like, shut the fuck up. You need to vote for Biden, and I can't believe it. And you know, he's done so much. And it's like, yeah, man, he's done way more than Trump has done. But then also, like, at the same sense, could you not see why people are like, fuck this motherfucker during an active genocide? Minorities always protect their own first. Yeah. Yeah, it's always it's always been the case. Not for everybody. But majority, the majority, which is just a fucking uh, everyone a always protects their own. The majority of minorities will always protect their own first. I mean, it makes sense. Pe it you're going to care more about issues that pertain to you than yeah, 100%. other people. One hundred percent. I mean, like the reason why I'm talking about it so much is because I know people who are getting fucking. What is that? Bigger, fatter? What is that? Blown. Blown. Derogatory. What is that? Dead fish. Here's the thing. At the end of the day, I will never gargle the balls of a fucking Democrat. All right. Well, nobody fucking asked if, whose balls you would gargle. I wouldn't either, but I obviously would never vote for a fucking... It's insane. You know? It's if real. If Ruth Bader Ginsburg was here, you she know, would say the same thing, actually. Markiplier is now 35. He can, we can vote for him. Scootish, would you rather have Markiplier as president or me? No, fuck that. Germa. I don't... Germa would scare me. Yeah, that would be. Germa's so goddamn nice. One time nice. I ran into Germa in a bathroom um, and my nose was bleeding <laughs> and he thought I was doing cocaine. I looked at him and I was like, dude, I promise you I'm not doing cocaine. He's like, yeah, no, it's okay, man. Bloody nose. And I was like, yeah. And then he just started staring at me and then he left. I love Germa. He's so fucking nice. When did this happen? It was, it was a while ago. We were at the casino. Uh, I promise I wasn't doing drugs. I just had a bloody nose. <clears throat> Speaking of drugs. Yeah. Speaking of Frogan. Yeah. Brogan went in on, on a famous comedian this week. Don't word it like that. You keep going in on our friends. <laughs> <laughs> I love Schultz and his stupid fucking haircut. <laughs> what did you call his haircut? What did you call his no, haircut? Don't, don't do that. Let her say it naturally. No, I know she's going to say naturally, but I want her to say I it. I can't wait to hear this joke again. No, it's not a, it's not a joke. It's I need her to just say what she called it. I, I said, so basically the other day I made a little joke talking to Raph about how... You don't even explain the joke. Just say the joke. Yeah, just say the joke. What do you think about Schultz's and haircut? We all love Schultz here. I started <laughs> listening to him recently um, because Raph makes me listen to him in the car. Um, I said, you know, we love Schultz, but sometimes his fucking points reflect his stupid Nazi haircut he has. Yep. He does have a Nazi haircut. He does though. have a Nazi haircut. Dude, he literally went in there. He's like, give me the 19th. Yo, for the third right, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, man, I want to look mad racist. Yeah. I don't want anyone to have a question if I I'm I want to look like I've worked in the factory my whole life, dude. <laughs> yes. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> He's like, hey, man, give me that pinky blinders, but mad racist. Yeah. Dude, I just realized Schultz and I have the opposite issue. His what? pants are too short and mine are always too long. <laughs> <laughs> That's a boomer. So, though. yeah, we do, you know, we do, you know, like Schultz. We watch Schultz. But sometimes, dude, his takes, 
are his not was, it, dude. No, bro, his take was ass. His Shut takes the fuck are take fucking dog ass, shit. dude. He literally was tweeting. He was like, this, "Read this, in his voice." This is. <laughs> can you? I don't think I. Can <laughs> you could. I don't think I can. I don't know him that Channel one. Channel. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he laughs, right? <laughs> I can't do oh, it. Yeah, you can't do it. Anyways, he goes, does anyone really believe that aborting a baby nine months is okay? What's even the argument outside of saying saving the mother's life? Now, Trump said this shit during the debate. Biden didn't give him any pushback because I, it's not, this isn't, you know, we ask like, is this true? Frogan, is this true? Can you abort a baby at nine months? Is it outside the womb walking around doing a little? No, that's like me saying when I'm going to abort you. Don't do it. Don't do it. my mom. Or you. I would abort. You can. I'm 270 pounds of. You can't abort this. I could. No, it's all more to here on the earth. If I really put my mind to it, I could. There, it, it, you can't abort a baby at nine months. Exactly. So basically. All you can do is uh, emergency C-section, right? Yes. What, is, what, is, what are they talking about when they say nine month abortion? So basically the whole thing is uh, it's a pro-life uh, talking point where they're like, you know, if bo abortions are illegal, people are going to start getting abortions at nine months. When the reality is. Most abortions happen within the thir first 13 weeks. I think it said 93% of pregnancy of abortions happen within 13 weeks. Yeah. Um, in reality, a baby can't live outside the womb until like 23 to 24 weeks. How many months is that? Give me that in months. I don't understand 12, weeks. Uh, four, four months. Four, four months you can four, live outside nine. the womb? No. 23? 24 oh. weeks. 24? 4, Four, 8, 12, 16. That's a lot of months. 20, 24, 6 months. 6 months. But even then, like, they, they're they viable, but they're in intensive care. Mm -hmm. They're in incubators they for like? months. Wired up. Oh, My okay. sister was a premature baby. You ever baby. see that, like, uh, you see the Matrix when they're, like, all in, the, like, the fetus pods? Yeah. And then, you know, he, you know, Neo comes out. And he's like, ah! That's you basically the, what it is. You but take the blue pill, you end up gay. Yeah. Yeah. Do you thank you for doing that during straight pride month? What about dude? the red pill? You end up straight. And if you mix them, you end up bisexual like Scooters. <laughs> <laughs> Scooters took the purple pill. <laughs> no, Scooters bleeds Twitch so much. Yeah. He became bisexual. Scoot Scooters has been streaming so long on Twitch, he became bi. Why are you guys throwing strays at my boy right there? Yeah, man? bro. Well, I up. loved this post yesterday. If you don't know, Scooters. Scooters finally posted on Twitter, uh, I'm bi, and it was a very beautiful post, and we loved it. <laughs> yeah. Very beautiful post is great. Baby it was four sentences. Not even put, four put sentences. It up, put it up right here. Put it up right I here. That's so angry. I was trying to find the word. That took all day to write. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> that took all day? Because I got so frustrated, I didn't know how to say it. Why did you ask us to ghostwrite it for you? You should have, like, honed into your gay self. Yeah, you should have been really gay about it. No, I, yeah. it, I was really gay. You should have asked your boss. It didn't feel uh, right. Yeah, that's not you. That's not you. It's not you. You're not you. gay. Yeah, that's perfect. That was just like, a, I'm bye. Thank you, bye. Yeah. It was Thank good. you, bye. I liked it. Yeah, Thank you, bye. Funny. Thank you, bye. You didn't even have any gay shit in the background, though, did you? It was no. Disney, dude. Yeah. That's the gay castle. shit in the world. Was, that, was the castle gay? Yeah. Castle gay. Yes. Oh, I didn't see that. It was pride colors. Look at the castle. The castle was gay. He was also wearing a Mufasa. Was it Simba? Also wearing a, Lion <laughs> a Lion King shirt. It's yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Anyways. Uh, it's Yo, someone said something really smart about that shirt. Oh, I get it. Because it's a lion, and lions run with a pride. For pride. And you didn't even think of that. I that's great. That. I'm like, damn, that's fucking deep. That's smart. That's deep. That's, that's deep. Smart. So anyway, Schultz is uh have the bad take from Schultz is uh is all abortion based. Oh uh, yeah, let me let me read it. So Fro Frogan went uh, in on well Hassan went in and then Frogan and then <laughs> Jeff Jeff Whitick went in. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Whitick's like, hey man, fight me. So uh, wait, so uh, we're saying twenty four weeks, right? Or when a baby can be out of the womb and be able to survive yeah. and have viability, but they have to be in a NICU situation. Mm -hmm. And they're typically there for like the remainder of the pregnancy. Right. So basically like Hassan went in and then he said, that is literally the only reason why that's ever happens. LOL. It's also unimaginably rare. But even then it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. What are we like? What Abortions do don't happen at nine months. Unless the baby dies and you have to take it out. Even then you're still going to have to birth it. Yeah. You're no matter what you're gonna have to Or you the, get, you know, cesarean. Yeah. But you still have to birth it. Even if the baby's they, dead. It's not it's, like there's some, somebody's not going inside and scrambling his shit up and get like embalming the thing and letting it just flow out. Yeah. Like even you then, even I mean? if the baby's dead, in some cases, you either C section it out, cut it out of you, or you literally have to push it out like you're giving a natural birth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like I the the thing that I'm keep thinking about in my head is that when someone says like I, we, I I've told you guys about this, but like someone had a, a baby that they did heroin on, 
And they were like, the, the doctor's like, dude, you, you got to get, you have to have an abortion. They were like, no, we're going to birth it. And they were like, the baby's going to die. And they're like, no, we're going to do it. And they were just like really religious. They were like fucking religious people. I love religious people who do just drugs heavy, dude. It's the funniest it's the best. thing. It's, well, it's so the you, funniest thing. You just go like this. God. Jesus, I'm so yeah. sorry. Yeah. <laughs> and then, so basically they do this shit and then they have the baby and then the baby uh, tragically dies, which is awful. It was their fault though. They did and drugs the, during and the I was like, I times. feel bad because the baby was already suffering the entire time. Mm -hmm. And basically, it's like, dude, at some point, like, well, you not were, the only, not the entire time. Pretty much the time from when it was able to start suffering. Yeah, I, th the I, I, weeks, I don't know. That how was 24 weeks I don't, part. I don't know. But yeah, it's like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing here? It's like, I understand, like, you're religious, but at some point, you're like, you, this is not viable. This is not. It's not gonna. It's not gonna do anything. I, I don't know. I mean, it's not my decision. I'm not a mom in that situation. I don't fucking know, like, how I would feel if I was pregnant. Rogan, you should do it and let us know how it fucking goes. But you know, get pregnant and then just get an abortion. Yeah. No, get no, you no. Get pregnant and do heroin and then take yeah. it to term and see what happens. Yeah. So but what I'm trying to say is that That's what he's saying. Also they taboo abortion like it's insane, bro. I swear to God, you're doing an abortion every time you fuck with a condom. Okay? You that's an abortion. It's different. No, it's an abortion. It's just an abortion with an extra step. It's abortion not, has, though. What was the difference? Well, an abortion is the removal of a fermented egg. Okay. And unless you're fucking Fermented. Fermenting, fermenting your fermented. fucking shit like what is it kombucha? What is it Dude, kombucha? Are you fucking like yeah? Fermented I, egg. You know, I like how you just stole my fucking joke. What joke? The yeah, kombucha. Yeah. But he said it louder, so it's funnier. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I like it when a guy says it. <laughs> say a joke. Say a joke. Say anything. <laughs> I can't. You have, to, you have to give me time. Okay, repeat what <laughs> she said. Letter. Repeat, yeah. Yeah, repeat what she said. Let her like just simmer no, repeat, on that one. Exactly what she said. Just like you know, sperm would simmer in an egg. That's how. That's where like the problem of abortion, thing, I guess, is coming through. But you know, it just doesn't because like. Like I said, most of them happen. That's, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just going to say, that's like saying that Frogan, every time she has a period, that's an abortion. Exactly. And even then, like, if you, if you want to get... Is plan B an abortion? No. It just makes, like, a hostile environment so an egg, if fertilized, can't implant into the uterus. But how is that not an abortion? It's don't, 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 because like, it hasn't gotten to the point. If you want to get technical, what's the fucking... What is an abortion? At some point, they're all abortions. It's just a made-up term we made up. They're not all abortions, though. An abortion is the discretion. Dis discarding. Discarding of a fetus. Yeah, of a fetus. So if a Shut is the fuck <laughs> up. How, but how much of the fetus needs to grow that it's an abortion? 24 weeks. Everything. No, well, no before that. Before that. No, no, before, you before typically that. don't find out you're pregnant until like you're six weeks along in pregnancy. Right. And what does it look like at six weeks? And a gummy bear? Well, you get rid of the gummy bear. I eat gummy bears all the time. <laughs> what were you going to say before... <laughs> <laughs> we went on this tit for tat situation. I want out of this one. Um, basically, if you want to get technical, about 50% of the time, an egg gets fertilized successfully. No, wait, hold on. I said the stat wrong. Sorry. If an egg's fertilized, about 50% of the time, it fails. And it doesn't ever yeah, implant yeah. and you half just get your them, period. Yeah. Half of them end up in miscarriage, right? That's my favorite. Not even miscarriage. Just, it just doesn't implant. Oh, wait. So you can, you can have a fertilized egg and you just get pooped out? No, it doesn't implant. The sperm misses. No, it, no, it's like what? It, so basically, I'm confused. Okay, sex, how does, sex education. How does vaginas work? Okay, so, <laughs> so basically, you, it's been a while. You, you have so you have sex with somebody. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Really? And then you come in I've them. Never. <laughs> dude, dude. You come in them, and then the sperm swims up, and they swim into the fallopian tube. Ew, dude. And then there's an egg in the ovary. Okay. Then the sperm fertilizes the egg. Yes. Then the egg that's fertilized comes down the fallopian oh, tube. Uh, right. I'm sorry. And pause, then, pause this. Don't go. Drafter, could you please do some graphics of like <laughs> like a storybook above this while Rogan explains this to us like we're children? It might be a lot. But yeah. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. Okay, keep going. And then it implants into the uterus, which it becomes like a nutrition source. And that's like here, right? That's a great... Here, well, I think. Why are we all, just, all of us just looked at Frogan's vagina, dude. Mine's right here. It's wild the way hey, Frogan's made us all look at her my vagina. My eyes are up here. My fallopian tube's uh, right here. Yeah. My eyes are right I here. I saw you look at. I can't. Anyways. You go. On. So it goes to the uterus and then what? Implants. Okay. And then. And they, it, so the implanting is it going into the uterus. Yeah. Got it. And, and, like, then, and then if it doesn't, then your uterus so sheds. So it just miss? It just doesn't successfully implant. Like, like it doesn't go. Yeah. Like, the trail it's got to stick yeah. to the wall. 
And then, Got you. then you get your period whenever your uterus sheds like the lining that is preparing it for pregnancy. Mm-hmm. And then you bleed for a few days and suffer. I don't believe that. I, I believe most of it until that last part. It's so gross. I wish men had periods. We do. What? Called diarrhea. Dude, periods give you diarrhea. Do they really? Yeah, what because- What do periods give you? Okay. Husbands. No, no, dude. What? So no. you, be- no, that was so this. about a week that was before, a miss, dude. About a week before, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Dude? You feel you feel one of two things. Mm. You either get really fucking angry or really fucking horny because your body's trying to get you pregnant. Okay, <gasps> wait. I get that way all the time, though. I'm always angry and horny. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, think, think about the norm. But like, I'm not thinking about norm. <laughs> Maybe normal. Dude, my baseline is is angry no, and horny. No, no, no think about time. like the baseline. Like, but you're like feral. You feel feral. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's why. Like once a month, you you talk about boy bands heavy. Not even. I haven't talked about a boy J- band in a J- while. Jake chilling all. Once a month. Once a month, she's like, I want to watch Roadhouse. The real ones know I hate that movie. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Anyways, that movie sucked. <laughs> If you're, if you're gonna make a joke, at least make it with a good fucking movie. Oh, okay. Once a month, I watch fucking what's that one? I don't want to fuck Nightcrawler. You want to fuck Planet Man? Earth? No, Lou Bloom is a twink. I don't like twinks. Which one is he good in? He's good in all his He's movies. Good in all his movies. <laughs> I said two of them. He said they don't work. <laughs> keep going. Keep but, going. So, and then, then you get like you're angry, and then you get into like a depressive episode. You're just like, oh fuck! Like I could literally uh, right now. Okay, believe that. And then. One morning you wake up and you use the bathroom and you're like, fuck. Everything makes sense as to why I wanted to a week ago. And I was angry. Can I be honest with and you? And extremely horny. What? I'm looking at Raph, not you. This is why women can't be president. Once a month. They I disagree. Off. Ruth Bader would have been a great fucking president. <laughs> too. No, but, so then you get your period and the, then you're st- you get cramps. Sometimes. But the cramping, like the contraction of your uterus, like pushing out the period, makes you shit. It gives you diarrhea. It's not and bad. And butthole cramps, which we've talked bad. about before. Talked Can about I be honest? Before. What? I don't have that same experience. What I have is an experience that's very similar. Once a month, I get really depressed. A spiritual experience. Okay. Oh, no, I'm going to tell you my experience. <laughs> yeah. It's like a period. Once a month, I get really depressed. And then I'm like really sad about my life and like where I'm at and my position. I'm like, this fucking sucks. Then I... I crave, you know, you get really horny. I get really horny for Taco Bell and I drive through that Taco Bell Mm -hmm. and I get the biggest fucking order and I get a Mm -hmm. lot of fire sauce. And what's that sound like the order? Welcome to Taco Bell. Let me do it. Let me do it real quick. Can I get, can I get, what'd you say? You're going to order from the mobile Uh, app today. What'd you say? You're going to order from the mobile app today. No, I, I'm sorry. Let me get closer to the window. What'd you say? Are you going to order from the mobile app today? Yeah. Let me get a, let me get one of the. Uh, can I get a Crunchwrap Supreme? Okay, the combo or just I, and I, hold hold on, just real quick. I gotta ask somebody. What do you want? Do oh, you want anything? Wait, who are you going with? He's not, dude. This is the trick. Scooters. There's, there's nobody. Oh there. no, Scooters. that's what I do though. I know. Yeah, if yeah. I if I'm ordering a lot and I don't. Yeah, want, oh yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I, I'm I, like, I, I'm I like hey, what do you what do you want? What do you want? Oh, you want? Oh, you want oh look, you're yeah, you pretending you're on the phone. Yeah, you do. You can. If you're ordering a lot, you gotta. Wait, you guys do this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me finish. It's embarrassing, dude. What do you what do you want? It's embarrassing. No way. Do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, you don't order more. Than, you don't order two things. Sometimes, scoot, what, sometimes what, I order like five different dude, things. You order, what's, what's my Taco Bell order? Uh, fucking nacho fries and the cantina chicken taco. We're getting talk about this. No, oh, no we're not. We're getting dinner. Okay, so the deal is, I do that. I get the order. <laughs> I go home. I eat it. I shit my pants for like two or three days. Uh, so are you gonna? Is that all you want? Oh no, let me finish. Let me finish. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, let me get a crunch up supreme. Can I get two beanie cheese burritos grilled? Yeah. Oh, Can I get 15 beans. fire sauces? 15. 15? 15, 50. 50. 1, 5. 5. 1, 5. 5? 1, 5. 5. 15. C. I'll say it, it at the window. I'll say it at the window. Okay, got it. Uh, and then also, can I get uh, a Pepsi large? Okay. And also cinnamon twist. Okay. And also, a cheese quesadilla. Does anyone want it? Uh, they want a cheese quesadilla. <laughs> okay. And that's it. That's Does this my, look that good on the screen? Oh, uh, the screen's broken. Okay, it's thirty six dollars. Okay, that's not bad. This seems about right, right? Yeah, and then yeah. I come up and I go, "What's up?" 
And that's, I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I talk to you guys on Discord while I'm doing it. That's so fucking funny that you pretend to be on the phone. We have to be. You gotta be. Gotta be pretending. Like you gotta, gotta lie. You I don't can't. want these people. I don't want these fucking people knowing that I'm a fat fuck, dude. Yeah, you don't want that, dude. When I was super depressed in undergrad, I'd get Taco Bell at 10:30 in the morning and get a bean burrito. They started to know me. That that's not bad. If you're doing no, the same getting thing. known is not bad, dude. Shut up. Stop acknowledging him, dude. He's he's fucking his. Fully boinked and ready to play with his tail. Anyway, wide. so abortions are like Taco Bell. Yeah. yeah. So basically, <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, we bro, lost the plot. Bro, I swear to God. Anyways, basically, you can't have an abortion at nine months. That doesn't fucking exist. Doesn't exist, bro. I, can I be honest? People who are mad about abortions, they're more concerned about like, like, oh, nine months, the baby's coming out. We're just like fucking mowing them down, and then they're doing, they're mowing down babies. They're just brown in the fucking Middle East. And the big thing too is like people like are pro lifers, a derogatory pro lifers will like you know champion the birth of a child and then not. They don't give a fuck about they it. They don't after give birth. a fuck. Yeah, they don't care. There's nothing. They don't, they don't provide anything for the child. You know, they provide the, the state. But then you, when you live for the state, they don't provide the state. They don't want any fucking support. They don't want the state doesn't want them. Nobody wants. Them. Nobody wants the kids. That's why you got to get rid of. the And kids. then they get mad at people who are who are a part of the alphabet mafia trying to adopt kids. Mm -hmm. It's like there's no fucking winning. What yeah. do you want to do with these kids? Or they get mad at people on welfare or like government programs yeah. that help them take care of kids abusing government things. <laughs> it's just like, ooh, I might sign up for EBT. I was actually smart. Do it. You're poor enough. I think I'm poor enough. You are Fuck it. Why enough. not? Yeah, why not? Dude, I think you use EBT at like fucking Taco Bell. I think so too. But yeah. Can they, I use EBT at abortion though? So? Yeah. Is buy one, get one free. You don't need it. Okay. Yeah. It's the same thing though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, yeah dude, it's just like, they don't give a fuck about the kids after they're born. Um, And a study came out recently about how child or like infant mortality increased in Texas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because of their abortion ban. And the reason why it increased so much is because people weren't able to get the abortions they needed because of like deformalities of the fetus in pregnancy. <laughs> so they couldn't abort the fetus. That's what I'm saying. The heroin stuff. Heroin, genetic drugs. I, to be honest, abortions are healthcare. Okay. If you have like, if you have a doctor going wild and just aborting everything, just going like abortion, like you know, like fucking Oprah abortion. Okay, like if that's what you want to regulate, that's fine. You know, nobody you be does like, that. It's like literally a traumatic I, experience for people, and I don't think people realize that. I know, but the problem is people <laughs> people want everyone else to do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. I I don't live in your fucking country, dude. We all live here together, right? Okay, and ninety percent of these motherfuckers are broke bitches who are fucking being like, I don't want you to get an abortion. I'm like, listen, you are also living off the state. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. If okay, pe people the, want to fix abortions. Yeah, the rate they're happening, sex education, it's but non-existent in the country. Yeah, there's no education for sex, dude. My, se I told you, my sex education was put a Bible between you and the other person, and if you don't put a Bible, you're gonna have sex and you're gonna have a baby. And th literally, they're like, if you fuck once, you'll have eight kids. My sex education was watching the hairiest vagina to ever exist give birth. Yeah, we all saw that video. Did you see that video? I didn't see it. <laughs> I wasn't really? allowed to watch it. Mm. It was the hairiest vag I've ever seen in my entire life. Everyone's seen this video but me. Pull it up. Jimmy, Jimmy, can you pull that up? That's yeah. how you became gay, Scooter. No, and then and then I had to write a paper on every single STD. That was my sex education. But it's a STD thing too. They really freak you out about STDs. Yeah. And then they made you write questions and put it in a hat. I yeah, a lot yeah, of I did that too. And people were like, I didn't do any shit. of this stuff. You know what? I went to I had courtesy a I had a pretty good. I had a pretty good sexual education, though. I went to a Christian school. That was a problem. I went to a private school when I learned about it, but I mean, no, public school when I learned about it. Yeah, that's it. why. I, yeah, they public didn't school do it. fucking ripped. Yeah. With it. But so, even then, oh, sorry. No, no, no. I learned it in elementary school and then I learned it again. Elementary? In middle school, yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Learned it, I learned it the. My like lat, my fourth grade and fifth grade year of mm. elementary school and then my sixth seventh my sixth grade as well interesting they did it twice but in america so i'm very knowledgeable in sex congratulations yeah i just don't know where fallopian tubes are really so buy your kidneys no they're like low. stop pointing to your vagina it's dude. not my vagina it's my you keep pointing like right here and then if i was pointing like here dude, dude whoa. but i'm not chill out with the vagina pointing and with those nails Ouchie. Am I right? Yep.
Thank you. I'm pulling up the next the next topic. Yeah, but basically to conclude on this topic, forty four percent of pregnancies that happen in America are not wanted, and about sixty percent of those end in abortion. Mm-hmm. And the whole point we should drive home with this is like, it's a woman's body. We shouldn't be able to control what the fuck they do with their bodies, whether they want to have a kid or not. Yeah, I agree. Hashtag pro choice. Mm-hmm. Now, next topic. Speaking, no, I don't even know how to. No, no, hold on. Let her figure this one out. Yeah, you do it. I can't wait for you to get canceled for this. So one. you want to say like you want to re? So we, the best way to transition is you want to kind of go backwards, reiterate the beginning of our. No, no, I'm telling you, reiterate the, like the beginning of the point that we made. Like, oh, what did we say in the beginning? End it with that, and then slide into the next thing. Yeah, dude. So you know, I would do something like you know, content creators are like. They're always hit or miss, you know, some oh, bullshit yeah. like that. Speaking of content creator news, you know. Speaking of bad takes. Speaking of terrible fucking takes and people, Ethan Klein admitted to being a Zionist in quotation marks. Oh, you put, can you put yay, cheers? Not, it's not allegedly. He posted it on his fucking Instagram story. Allegedly. Giraffe, can you put like yay, cheers after she says Ethan Klein as Zionist? Why are you Zionist? so excited? And then it collapsed and confetti and whatever else. I don't else. think you guys realize this is a moment for me that I've been hounding on since October. And I got called every name in the fucking book for saying he's a Zionist. When he's like, I'm not a Zionist. But I believe in the whole. Um, Hold on. She's having a weird thing going on right now. My back hurts. There's a weird thing that just happened. Are you saying it because he's Jewish? You've been calling Raf a Zionist every day we came in the office. I would never it's call Rafi a Zionist. It's true, because I'm not a Zionist. You went to birthright. Let my people go. <laughs> <laughs> Just because he's a Jewish man doesn't mean he's no, a Zionist, you Palestinian obviously. freak. Yeah, that's anti-Semitic, dude. It really is Anyways, anti-Semitic. So drama happened. Let me wait until my camera. <laughs> dude, <laughs> are you in the We have the wine. Oh. <laughs> you, you are so. Fuck. You're such a diva, this is why, dude. You want to know why I always cut you off? Because you, when Don't you have the floor. fucking start. No, when you have the floor, Frogan's like. Let me. See yeah, you're doing girly pop shit. Don't fucking start. It could be on the wide right, or it could be on your personal camera. Now nobody, nobody knows what I do okay, during go. my close up when it's on your guys' close ups. I'm letting you have this because when they come after you, I'm just gonna be like, I wasn't even on that podcast. <laughs> I was. I wasn't even on <laughs> you can tell it was all close. I mean, it was all close, was all close up. I wasn't even there. Obviously, we're, we're hesitant to talk about it, but I feel like it's important to talk about. Yeah, do this next part all in the wide. I saw this on my. <laughs> dude, oh, you're dude, so smart. Do this all in the wide. No, no please. Kidding. No, yeah, do it all. Do it all in the I, wide. I saw this guy Brad's tweet, and I was like, "What's what's going on with this shit?" Right? Like, I saw it on my timeline, and then you explained it to me. So basically, a uh, fan. Uh, went backstage at the H3 live show that happened the other day in mm-hmm. LA. Uh, he posted a picture with Ethan and Gila. He's not a fan. He's, and... he's a YouTuber. Oh, I don't know who the fuck he is. Oh, he's a YouTuber. Whatever. He's a content creator. Met well, them. If he was a go back to then he's a fan. Yeah. Yeah. So he met them, posted pictures with Gila and Ethan. People came after him like, yo, you're taking pictures with people that support genocide. And then he posted a tweet and was basically, can you go back to the quoted tweet? I was trying yeah. to read it. Um, so basically he quote retweeted it after people were coming after him and said, the image made a statement that I did not intend to make. And I'd like to apologize to people who were hurt by or upset by this. I'm sorry. I'm trying to read from that far. I can't read. Uh, I apologize for my quick response as it was dismissive towards people who care about me and others deeply. I appreciate you looking out for me. So then Ethan screenshotted it and posted it on his Instagram story and went on this whole fucking rant. Uh, he said, uh, can you click open image? Oh, because it's it, this is a slideshow. Yeah, right click open image. In new tab. First one. And zoom in. Oh, what the fuck? This is Brad. Someone who someone on the crew who was kind enough to give him VIP tickets so he was able to come backstage and hang with us. I had the chance to speak with him for a little bit and thought he was a nice guy. Here he is apologizing for taking a photograph with me. So basically, he posted a screenshot of the tweet of him apologizing. And this is a kicker of the entire situation, in my opinion. He was like, because I'm a Zionist. Quote, unquote. Quote, unquote. What does this even mean? To those who use the word as an insult, it simply means anyone that believes Israel has the right to continue to exist. According to recent polling, this would include 90% of the world 
Oh, I'm choking. 90% of the world's Jewish population. Can't that believe means you're choking on one of the most important moments of your life right yeah. now. I know. This is insane. According to recent polling, this includes 90% of the world's Jewish population. That means that Brad here would need to apologize for taking a photograph of the nine out of 10 Jews. Um, he posted another tweet in that screenshot and he said, I'm aware that being around Ethan and Hila at the moment is very questionable. I wanted to meet them despite people's valid criticisms of them. I am aware this is a bad look and posting a photo with them upset many people. Not the best decision on my part. And then the final thing he said was, um, dude, if you're going to fucking take a picture with somebody and post it, just fucking own up to it. Yeah, Who gives that, a shit? Yeah. yeah, that fuck you. Yeah. Just just you did it. Who gives a shit? And, Leave it up. And here's the thing. It's just like it's not like the critic- been like, it's sorry, a photo, God, dude. Sorry. It's not like the criticisms of Hila and Ethan are like recent. It's been happening for the last since October. Nah, th- yeah. You know what I mean? He knew, is, what, he knew what he was going into. This is what he did was bitch made. Yeah. yeah, like I, we we know they're Zionists. Oops. Like, like, sorry. Okay, we'll talk about why he's a Zionist in a second. But the thing is, like, the, what he did is weird too. Like, don't fucking go and like try to kiss ass and then turn around. It's like, yeah, you can disagree with Ethan. Like, you would you talk to Ethan in real life if you could talk to him, even though he like ruined your fucking life and no. all shit. Okay, okay. I would always talk to people I disagree with, even if they're like. But he literally said he hopes my family gets killed in front of me. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't talk to you. <laughs> he did say that. Yeah. That's yeah, kind of based. Yeah, I don't say that. Can I be honest? Speak. I agree. Would you have him on the podcast? Would you like have, or would you like talk to him? Not on the podcast. Like if it was a sit down where. If he, he wanted to talk to me one on one off camera. Apo- yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's what to I'm apologize. Say. Bradley yeah. Martin, Logan Paul I would Paul talk style. to him. To, talk, to like work it out. Yeah, I've, I've done it before with people I had, I've had beef with, beef with in the content creator space. Yeah. Talk to Ms. Kiff offline. Yeah. Which I think is admirable. Yeah. I think that's the, that's the adult thing to do. Um, he says, uh, keep going, Frogan, if you want to read this. Whatever criticism I have voiced for Israel, whatever financial contributions I've made to the people of Gaza, nothing will ever be enough because I, like 90% of all Jews, am a quote unquote Zionist. Not true. I've been on the receiving end of rabid anti-Semitism ever since October 7th, but this one made me especially sad. Tell me a fucking river, dude. He's just going... I wanted to meet, so the Brad said, I wanted to meet them because they are famous and I had the opportunity to watch a creator who was a pivotal part of my childhood and early YouTube adventures. I had no care for the moral implications at the time. I just wanted to feel cool. Yeah, dude. That's so not, just feel cool. Post yeah. your shit. It's okay. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to cancel you. Like, who, can, who really gives a shit, dude? I'll take a picture next to fucking Hitler, dude. I, you know what I mean? I would. Like, look at this guy. Look at this fucking weird looking fuck. I would take a picture next to him. You kidding me? How did we get to Hitler? <laughs> How did you get to Hitler? Dude? I didn't mean to get to Hitler. Is I'm it- just saying I'm equivocating it. I'm just saying it's like people are shaming him for taking a picture of somebody who has bad morals. The first thing that came to my head was Hitler. I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you I have are- a lot of repressed emotions about it. I know this. you do. I'm Rats sorry. Jewish. Yeah, yeah, we, we, gotta we keep have saying to say that. that. If we're 27 episodes in and I have to say that I'm Jewish, it's going to be... Uh, you guys e- go back to the beginning. I have a question for Ethan, you. What? Would you take a picture yeah. with Dr. Disrespect if dude. you saw him on the street dude. right now? Dude, dude, dude. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hold think on, about it. On, you would take a picture with Hitler on, over Doctor Disrespect. Think about it. Think about it. No, I, okay. thank you for telling me, Scoot. I need another hour six to think about this. <laughs> All right, let me think. Let me think. Would I take a picture with him? Yeah, you see a right now. You see like, a six ten man walking down the street with a no, glorious what a mustache. Freak, dude. No, you wouldn't. that tall. You wouldn't talk. You would not. I wouldn't talk to him. You wouldn't take a pic. What are you going to do? Take a picture with him and say, "Can I get a picture with you?" After I take the picture, what are you going to post it? Hey, I just Look met at this my creep I met. <laughs> yeah, I would do it and be like, I just just met a crowd. Got gripped by Doctor Disrespect. Can't believe it, dude. Yeah, <laughs> too old for him. Too yeah. old for him. Uh, the age difference here is palpable. <laughs> I'm, gonna res- I'm, I'm gonna respond to this. Anyways, I'm gonna sorry. Respond. I'm gonna say some shit to this. Okay, Ethan. Just so you know, when because I, I I have a feeling that this is gonna be fucking his ass. Fucking. Hopefully, he doesn't respond to this shit. Uh, but the thing is, this is. This is clear as day that you are you are a Zionist because you think that Israel can continue to exist. As a Palestinian, it should not exist. It should be Palestine for Jews, Muslims, Christians, everyone. Uh, the reason why you want to you want to name it Palestine because you want to give it back to the people you've displaced, including my family. Uh, your family has or not has fam- his family, but his, no, his family now has directly displaced my family. They were living there. They are now displaced. I would like my land back. We are literally currently trying to get it back. I would like it back. 
Um, I know that people, the Jewish people are not going to leave. I understand that. That's not what anyone's asking. But to say that we want to keep Israel, that's like saying we want to keep Nazi Germany. You can keep Germany. You just can't keep Nazi Germany, you know? Uh, and that's the fact of the matter is that uh, to say that, you know, the Jewish population are 90%. Bro, 90% of my friends who are Jewish are not Zionists. They don't agree with you. They just don't. I, I don't know. Most of my Jewish friends are literally like, you're insane. You're That's the an odd insane one out. stat, though. Ninety percent. Yeah, I think it's they're not, all stats all the fucking bullshit. time, dude. What is it from? Like, like I just want to know: is it from like an Israel your, fucking? Your family's Jewish. Yeah, they're pro Palestinian. Yeah, there you go. Exactly. I I, I don't understand. Every, and that's five people in a household. The tide is turning, and the fact well, that the, you know four, four people. No, but but like I have all my friends who are Jewish who are texting me shit daily, and they're the ones who are the most supportive of this shit because they yeah. feel they feel like. We are brothers in this situation. The fact is to be like, I'm a Zionist. What does that even mean? You know what the fuck it means, bro. You know, you know what, what the means. fuck it means. You know what it, it means. means. It means that you think that there should be a fucking ethno state, dude. You know what it means. Shut the fuck up. You know what the fuck it means. Don't sit here and bullshit, dog. Don't fucking sit here and be like, I don't know what it means. That's like me saying like, oh man, I don't really understand what Nazi means. Like, what does Nazi even mean? It means that you don't want me to live there because you want a fucking Jewish ethno state, dog. And I'm Christian. Okay. So now I want my fucking ethno state. I want a Christian fucking Palestine. <laughs> I want my ethno state. We're going to call, I'm going to call it, you know what it's going to be called? Capriism. Capriestine? Capriestine. But he, Ethan even said previously that he doesn't think that the Arabs and Jewish people can coexist. He's a, he yeah, think, he thinks it's gonna, he thinks it's gonna be get violent yeah. against the Jewish people. Yeah. It, it, well, that's what's insane. It's like, bro, if you don't think Arabs and Jewish people can exist, look at your staff, dog. Yeah. <laughs> that's in fucking insane. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look at your fucking staff, dog. Am I wrong? Am I fucking wrong? That's a dumbass argument, bro. We are literally cousins. Shut the fuck up, dumbass. Okay, let me walk through. Let me walk on the same road. Let me go exactly. home. Exactly. <laughs> like my mom, <laughs> my, bro. It don't make sense. You can't say yeah. That's that's crazy. It doesn't make they didn't sense. Didn't even think of that. They didn't even think of that, bro. It's stupid to be like, oh, there'll be bad stuff that will happen. Yeah, man. It's it's probably not going to be perfect, and it's probably going to be like look at South Africa right now. People are they're having issues. However, it's. <laughs> South Africa, look at South Africa. They know better. They know better. I don't know, dog. I don't know. It's, I don't know, dude. And I don't know where he's pulling the statistic out of nine and ten Jews are doing X, Y, Z. No, it's gross. It's, it doesn't make any sense to me. It's anti-Semitic. Stop I, equivocating all of us Jewish people to, to believing what you believe, and then the one odd person is the one odd person out. It's not fucking true, dude. It's not even it's not true. Maybe before this fucking thing, nine out of ten people, when you ask them, do you think Israel should be a state? Dude, if I asked nine out of ten Africans if Africa should be a, a fucking continent, they're going to be like, yeah, it should be a fucking continent. Yeah. I can make up that stat whenever I want. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't make any sense. But anyways, um, back to it. I think that uh, I think it's gross. I think it's nasty. But again, like it's it's weird, dude. It's just weird. It just I think at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day, you just you got to blow past these people with these bad ideas and you just got to keep moving forward. And then once there's liberation, people like this will turn around and be like, you know what? Yeah, I, you know, I was on your side the whole time. I have friends like that about gay rights. Dude. Literally, they're like, oh, yeah, gay people are cool. I, I was wrong back in the day. But you know who's really weird? Trans people. And then I'm like, here we go again. Yeah, so here we go whole again. Fucking the cycle fucking again. repeats itself. It's yeah. like in 20 years, we're going to be looking back at what's happening in Palestine now. And we're going to like reflect on these people that were so openly pro Israel and everything happening. It's like, they're going to look like fucking freaks. And he's doing it publicly. He's going to look like a freak. For and on a platform. Life. He can't even retract what he said. He's there's videos of him saying the bad shit, crazy shit he's been saying for the last no, it's like not good. It's not good, months. Dude. It's gross. It's gross. And it's just like, dude, I don't understand why. No, why it's like, Oh, haven't I done enough? It's like, you can't just say, haven't I, like, I hate the people who say, who oh, haven't I done enough? If you're going to say, haven't I done enough and be like, I've donated, I've done this. It's like, nobody's done enough until there's liberation. None of us have done enough. Until I stop seeing dead fucking people on my timeline every goddamn yeah. day of bombing safe zones. It's not going to be enough. Imagine. Okay. Just think about who you're talking to. Imagine like when we did our try guy shit or whatever, kids in Gaza were watching that. Imagine if he's like, Hey man, I did enough for those kids. <laughs> they're watching Ethan, they're watching Ethan Klein they're like he's like I've done enough you guys need to chill on me okay I've done enough and the kids are sitting and guys are going like 
Oh, you know? And I do agree. agree. Obviously, anti-Semitism has increased, which is not right. It's awful. Has it increased or has it just gotten louder? Mm. It's no, it's I, the same thing with racism. No, it's has it increased or has it gotten because, louder? Again, there are people who, who dude, there are people who are using the pro Palestinian movement, like fucking Jake Shields yes. or whatever. Jackson the fuck. Hinkle, Jackson Hinkle, yeah. who are just anti Semitic. Can I show you a video I found? Jake Shields literally was saying like anti Semitic shit and then like pro Palestine. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. What, who the fuck let you in, you fucking, fucking idiot? Yeah. Can I show you a video I, don't know, I found? I was going to say something bad. What video was it? Here, man. Hold on. So I found one of my first streams from 2021. Okay. I saw this video, dude. You're, it's your fault. You I'm the reason me. why Jackson Hinkle's on you the You know internet. what, Ethan? You're right. Frogan is a piece of shit. She's the reason why a Nazi exists on the platform. Did you did you vote? What, what's your name? Hold on. Jackson, did you vote? You don't know my name? I'm going to be the biggest political Twitch streamer. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna dethrone Hassan, and you don't know my fucking name yet? What the fuck is you that? Are nobody, you, are, you, are no, you are nobody, You are nobody. You are a nobody. You literally made him Batman. <laughs> you literally made the Joker. You literally made the Joker. Dude, you literally did. You literally made the Joker. You literally did. You caused all of this. That's a very narcissistic ass response, though. To be like, you don't know my name. I'm, I'm be going to be the biggest person. You don't know my name now. Wait, no. no. <laughs> what? I don't care. I, if someone, if I became famous, I'd never be like, you remember my name. I'm going to be famous one day. <laughs> and I'm like, that's what I do. Every time I go to a restaurant, I go, remember my name. I'm going to be famous one day. Like, remember sir, just me. Tip. Yeah. But yeah. I can't Anyways. believe you fucking did that. You know what? I'm on Ethan's side. No, it's it's people like Jackson that ruined the movement. Obviously, you shouldn't be anti-Semitic and Jewish hating because of what's happening in Palestine. It's not a religious thing. You know, I mean, the, the I guess the basis of Zionism is religion. religion based, yeah. But I feel like a lot of people don't follow religion to a fucking T and they take the parts they want to follow. But obviously, I don't think religion says to genocide people either. In the name no, of religion. No, 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 no. My brain died. Cut that out. Yeah, I was going to say, you're like, wait, does the Torah say to genocide people, Raph? <laughs> no, but anyways. It doesn't. I, I wasn't going to ask. I mean, it doesn't because. It doesn't. No, I wasn't going to ask because I know the Bible, Quran, and Torah are all identical, basically. Yeah, the the Quran is is different right because like they don't they believe Jesus was a prophet but you know what's crazy in Lebanon like I said this on the stream I was like when we when you go to Harissa it's the Virgin Mary mm -hmm. and it's on the hill in Lebanon and there's like a big lore about the Virgin Mary spinning but like almost every Lebanese person fucks with that statue like spinning there's like this thing when the Lebanese Civil War started they say the the Virgin Mary overnight spun from the mountains to the city and it was looking over Beirut that's like mm -hmm. their whole thing someone spun this shit someone spun it it's huge though. A couple spinners out Someone's there. Someone's been it. So, anyways, that's like their whole thing. Mm -hmm. But the thing in when you go to Harissa in Lebanon, there's a lot of Muslim people there because Muslim people like believe in the Virgin Mary. So they're there to like also pray to the Virgin or like visit the Virgin Mary. Muslims? Yeah. They don't pray to the Virgin Mary. They they they're there. They're they're not praying, but they are visiting the Virgin Mary. And it's like a big thing because the Virgin Mary is in the Quran, right? Yeah. Exactly. So they're there and they are like going to visit like as a religious thing to the Virgin Mary. So it's not, it's a church that like has a lot of Muslims that go there. That's the thing is like a lot of these holy sites are the same shit. Like my mom was walking through, you know, she's walking through uh, Bethlehem and Jerusalem to like from, you know, you're walking under Al-Aqsa, then you're walking through, you know, the Dome of the Rock and or not Dome of the Rock, uh, the Temple Wall or whatever. And then you're walking into the fucking place where Jesus was pooped mm -hmm. out, you know? And the thing is like, it's 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 a mix, and that's how it should be. It should be. It's, yeah. It's, again, imagine I want to go and I want to go visit the churches and shit, and I'm a religious person, but because I'm Palestinian ethnicity, they literally will right. not. At the end of the day, everyone can coexist. I want to go. I will go to we'll meet. You know what? You Ethan, should get that as a bumper sticker. Yeah. You should make a bumper sticker that coexist. It should have every religion on there. Oh, that's such a good idea. Yeah. That definitely doesn't exist. Well, uh, yeah. Anyways, all right. I think that's good for the. Uh, yeah. Well, no uh, we're, Our personal uh, yeah. stories. We'll talk about it on the Patreon. We're, yeah, I want to talk about it. We're at like an hour. <laughs> Look at time. that stank face, we dude. We also have to get this out shorter time, so just remember that. That's why I'm cutting it. Nobody watches our Patreon episodes, though. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. Yes, they, they have do. two views on them. They do. I looked last night.
Why aren't you guys watching? Why aren't you guys watching our Why fucking Patreon? Patreon our episodes? Patreon is good. We're about to paywall something really good. Why would you tell us that while we were live? While yeah. we were live recording? Yeah, push the Patreon. Why aren't you guys watching our videos on Patreon? Yeah, I get it. They're only like fifteen to thirty minutes sometimes, but sometimes they're really good content. Yeah, dude, last week was amazing. We cupped each other's boobs. We did cup each other's boobs last week. Yeah, what the fuck? I was made to cup Capri's boob, and Raph wouldn't let me cup his boob. Yeah, it's just kind of I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't like the way you said that. I was made to cup Caprice. You disrespected her. <laughs> Thank you for being an A rap. Uh, is that what we're saying? <laughs> hey, like we say here all the time. Uh, Hello. Uh, uh, do you remember any of the chants from the churches? Uh, uh, no, it's Native American. My bad. Kuluna. <laughs> yeah. Kalawantik. Kaluna, Kaluantik. It's the fucking it's Lebanese, Lebanese National, National Anthem. Anthem. Yeah. Um, I yeah. can't do this anymore. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe Mid to the Patreon. Speed. Tell your friends about the Spotify episodes. Please, 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 please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And good. Bye. Good evening. Good night. Well, it's late now. It's good goodbye. Night. Happy Fourth oh. of July. Oh, by the way, uh, if you made it to the end, comment. Uh, <laughs> pfft. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck I've been hearing this entire time. <laughs> If you made it to the end, comment 69, dude. Don't tell comment 69, dude. All right, comment 69, dude. Bye. Uh, bye. Goodbye. I'm like thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, cool. What am I going to talk to Serge about? Because Frogan's going to go fucking nonverbal. So I have to figure out how to carry a conversation with somebody that I admire. How do I handle this? She hits, she hits that lady with that stupid ass fucking joke. And I'm like, I can't do this right now. I need to think. <laughs>